Yo, what's up guys? So the other day I was watching a video from John Mike on YouTube and it was on the Novation Launch Key Mark IV that was just released. And I was pretty intrigued with that and still am pretty intrigued with that keyboard. Uh, this is not the Mark IV, this is the Mark III in front of me here. Um, but the Mark IV, the one specific thing about it that really, really caught my attention is slash was the fact that it has uh, a different USB port on the back. So this one, uh, are we gonna be able to see this or what? Hang on, let me see. Yeah, maybe you can see that, right? So this has a USB type B port, as you can see there. Okay, this is like the, you know, also known like the printer cable, people may refer to it as. And so for me, in order to connect this to either my laptop, my MacBook, or my, well, in order to connect to my MacBook, for sure, I need a Type-B to Type-C, because my MacBook doesn't have any other USB ports on it. But my Mac Studio has, um, and I only have two such cables like that, by the way, right? And my Mac Studio has a Type-A USB on it, so I have many Type-A to Type-B cables, so that's fine if I'm ever using it in this setup. Um, and then, recently, I've been talking about using it connected to this thing, my OP1 Field and using like a, a MIDI controller to be able to play the sounds in like a more piano type feel, you know, for like live gigging and like a fully wireless, or not wireless, but fully battery operated setup. And I dropped the video on that. I'll, I'll link that video actually to this one. I just dropped that video recently. It was a really fun video to make. Anyway, um, what I wanted to talk a little bit about and get some of your feedback on, as a matter of fact, is I commented on John Mike's video, um, and I don't know if I should call him John Mike or John. I guess John Mike is his YouTube channel, so you might as well call him, call him by that, right? But I commented and I was like, you know, showing my excitement and uh, about the fact that the new one finally has USB-C and I said something along the lines of, or I said exactly, that USB-C on the new Novation, like finally, I have no intention on getting any MIDI controller without USB-C at this point. That's what I said because I have so many USB-C to USB-C cables and I want to be able to not have to like search for one, one of two of those other cables that I don't have that many of, right? That was my, that was in my head sort of thing like right there. So what was shared in the comments was really interesting to me because I had never really thought of this, but the, the, the thoughts are, or the perspective is definitely true. And this is what two different people said. One person said a USB-C breaks a lot more easily though. Um, that part made me think a little bit. I'm like, okay, it, it definitely is smaller and maybe is more fragile, especially if you're getting a, a smaller, like a cheaper cable perhaps. Okay, I was like, all right, I didn't think of that, but that makes sense. But this other comment, um, is more interesting. It says, I don't like the USB-C connection for live use, not enough meat on the connection for reliability. So that was really, really interesting. So I have, you know, both cables here for those of you who don't, um, you know, know the difference, right? So this is USB type C. Is this gonna focus in? Do I have to cover my face? Let me see. Hang on. Mm, it's too small to get focused, guys. Okay, is it? Uh, whatever. But maybe you know what USB Type-C is. Maybe you know, right? That's what this is. And then Type-B is like this this type of cable here. Let me put it like right in front. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hang on. Look at that. Boom. There's a focus. There's a focus. Okay. So, um, yeah, they're, they're right about that, right? So, like, for live use, let me, like, plug this in actually here. So, let's do we, do we switch cameras here. Yeah, let's see, you know. We'll slide that on down. So yeah, this definitely is like more of a secure fit, right? Like it takes a decent amount to unplug. Now for me, for live use, like, I don't know, like what's the likelihood, right? Of, of this thing coming out or the USB-C coming out? I don't really know, I don't know. I mean, let me just plug this in here. I plugged in so many USB-Cs in my I mean, they both required the same amount of force to, to pull out, but I basically was thinking like, okay, that's an interesting perspective. I had, I had never thought of that. Now, that being said, I still, I still prefer C, but I definitely appreciate the fact that maybe some companies aren't all going right to C, but are still using B on their equipment for that, for that very reason. And maybe there's m many other people out there that, that feel the same way um, about preferring a little bit of a more like larger, more sturdy, reliable, perhaps, um, you know, cable. But let me know what you guys think. I was just kind of curious about that because I'm like, I never thought of it that way. So, yeah, also, um, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't sort of mention maybe in this video, if anyone out there 
is interested <clears throat> in this 49 key keyboard, I'm not giving it away, um, but I, I would like to sell it to someone for less than it's available online um, to, to buy. Uh, definitely less just to one of my viewers um, because I want to get actually the 49 or 61 key um, for the same purposes that I'm sharing with you guys. This is um, how many times have I used it? I use it maybe two or three times, honestly. Have the box really virtually new, like I just haven't got around to using it. Um, so if anyone's interested, yeah, launch key 49 Mark III. I have you know videos on my channel talking about it. Um, I have a video from the first time that I bought it and then I returned it and then I got it again recently. So that, that video from the first time was from a long time ago. I repurchased this, I don't know, uh, in March actually I do know because I can't return it because it's past the, the warranty. So yeah, let me know. Drop me a comment if you're interested. Um, get in touch with me and I'd be happy to you know set something up. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I have to constantly remind people, I think. I don't have to, but I just feel inclined to. I think it's important. Have a good one. Peace.